And count right, and I say, Hey, you know, nursery time is great because we learn, work, and play and get to go on adventures. Great to see you, let's learn new ways about all the things from nursery. This come, we'll enjoy what each new day brings. And I say, Hey, you know, nursery time is great because we learn, work, and play. And get to go on adventures. And I say, hey! Hello, boys and girls. I hope you had a wonderful weekend and you're ready for this new week. Let me first welcome you back to the Nursery Learning Adventures. My name is Teacher Nicole. What's yours? Hello, Justina. Hi, Christopher. Good morning, Mia. Hello, Chavez. Thank you all for joining me. I am so happy to have you. We have quite a lot of things to get done today. So let us get the ball rolling. How many days make one week? You can't remember? Don't worry. Let's sing the days of the week song and maybe that will help us to remember. Seven days in a week, seven days in a week, seven days in a week, seven days make one week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. That's right, boys and girls. There are seven days in one week. Good, let's move over to our daily chart. Can you tell me what day it is today? That's right, boys and girls. Today is Monday. So, if today is Monday, Let's go back one day. What day was yesterday? Hmm. If you said yesterday was Sunday, you're absolutely correct. Listen carefully now. If yesterday was Sunday and today is Monday, what day will tomorrow be? If you said tomorrow will be Tuesday, then you are correct. You're doing well, boys and girls. Keep it up. Now it's time for us to look at the weather. I'm excited to know what's the weather like at your end. So, boys and girls, what's the weather like where you are? I'll give you some time to check. Did you check? Great! Here in Georgetown, where I am, the weather is sunny and bright. So come on, let's move the arrow on the weather chart to point to the picture that says sunny. When I get to the picture that shows sunny, you will say, stop, it's sunny. What does this picture say? This picture says windy. What do you think this picture says? 
This picture says cloudy. What about this picture? This picture says rainy. Now, take a look at this picture. What does this picture say? Oh, that's right. This picture says sunny. Thank you for helping me. Oh boy, that was fun. It's now time for us to go over to our concept board. On we go to the concept board, the concept board, the concept board. On we go to the concept board to see what we'll be learning. Let's take a quick look at the picture scene. What do you see? It looks like a birthday party. Oh, look! There is mommy and daddy. Look! Look, the girl is blowing out the candles on the cake and her friends are cheering. Boys and girls, what are the children wearing? Wow, they are wearing party hats. And I also see gifts, sweets, cupcakes on the table too. That's awesome. They all look excited, and I'm feeling excited too. What about you? Great job. Okay, boys and girls, the picture scene is telling us about our theme for this term. Can you remember what is our theme? Great. Let's quickly recap it so that we all can be aware of it. The theme for this term is myself. So we are going to be talking all about ourselves for this term. And this week, our focus will be on my birthday. Do you have a birthday? Yes, you do. Do you know when is your birthday? If you don't know at this point, I trust that by the end of this session, you will. All right, pay attention to this discussion. Boys and girls, everyone is born on a special day in a specific month and year. And this is known as our birthday. So each year on that special day, we celebrate our birthday which also indicates that we're one year older. It also is important to note that our birthday consists of a date, a month, and a year. Let's say that you were born on the 20th of June, 2017. This is how we would write it. Isn't that awesome? So we can say that our birthdays are special and unique. Now boys and girls, here is a fun activity and I would like you to participate in it. This is how it will work. I will tell you my birthday and you will tell me yours. Are you ready? Start thinking of your birthday. I was born on the 5th of October, 1988. That's a long time ago. And that means I will celebrate my birthday on the 5th of October every year. Are you ready to share when you were born? Go right ahead. If you know it, shout it out. Oh, wow, that's great. Thank you for sharing. If you don't know your birthday, find out from mommy or daddy. I trust 
that you enjoyed today's discussion about our birthday. It's time for me to go and I would like you to pay attention and participate in the next session. Have fun boys and girls. It's literacy time, let's have fun. It's literacy time, let's have fun. It's literacy time, it's literacy time, it's literacy time, let's have fun. It's literacy time, let's have fun. It's literacy time, let's have fun. It's literacy time, it's literacy time, it's literacy time, let's have fun. Boys and girls, get ready, it's literacy time. I am teacher Nicole and I will be your literacy teacher for this week. I'm super excited for today's lesson. So let's get started. But before we get started, join me in singing the alphabet song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z Now I know my A B C Next time won't you sing with me Thank you for participating This week's letter is a vowel and it makes the sound ah 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 boys and girls i would like you to listen carefully to a short story which will tell you a little bit more about the letter for the week and at the end of it we will talk about what you heard and ah ah apple is on the table. There is an a uh, a uh, ant on the apple. Anne looked down and said, ah uh, ah, uh, and a uh, a uh, ant is on the apple. Now, boys and girls, let us talk about what you heard. What sound did you hear in the story? We heard the ah sound. Boys and girls, can you name some words we heard with the ah sound? Go right ahead. Okay, we heard the words an, apple, and ant. Hmm, boys and girls, do you know what letter makes that sound? If you said letter A, then you are correct. Letter A makes the sound A. Ah. Uppercase A and lowercase A says A, ah, as in apple, ant, and an. Here we have the A ah sound at the beginning. Before we move on, boys and girls, did you notice that an begins with an uppercase A? Do you know why? No? Don't worry. I will tell you. It's because an is the name of a person. That's right. Letter A also says a in the middle of words like hat, cup, and cat. Let's make the sound together. Ah, ah, ah. Great job. Letter A is a vowel and it has two sounds. Yes, boys and girls, two sounds. It has a long sound and a short sound. The words we will focus on contains the short vowel sound. Letter A is the first letter of the alphabet. Now that you know the letter and its sound, I would like you to keep practicing making the letter sound. Boys and girls, 
I'd like you to participate in a little exercise. Listen carefully as I call the words. Then you will tell me where you heard the ah sound. Are you ready? Let's go. An apple ant alligator arrow axe where did you hear the ah sound is it at the beginning in the middle or at the end of the words That's right, boys and girls. It's at the beginning of the words. Now, think of some more words that have the ah sound at the beginning of the words and say them out loud. Well done. What about these words? Cup, hat, cat, tap, Sat. Where did you hear the ah sound? Is it at the beginning, in the middle, or at the end of the words? That's right, boys and girls. It is in the middle of the words. Now, think of some more words that have the ah sound in the middle of the words and say them out loud. Awesome job, boys and girls. Now that we have learned more words with the ah sound, let us clap the syllables in some of these words. A syllable is a part of a word and we can find out how many parts a word has by clapping the beat. Let me give you an example. The word is ant. Let's clap and say the word ant. Ant. How many times did I clap? That's right, one time. That means that the word ant has one syllable. Let's try it with the word an. Let's clap and say the word an. An. How many syllables is in that word? That's right, one. Let's try again with Apple. Let's clap and say the word apple. Apple. How many times did I clap? Boys and girls, do you know? Yes, I clapped two times. So the word apple has two syllables. Okay, let's clap one more word. The word is alligator. Alligator. How many syllables are in that word? If you said four, you are absolutely correct. Wow, we have learned a lot about the A ah sound, the name of the letter and words with the sound at the beginning, in the middle and at the end. Okay, let's take a few moments and practice writing the uppercase A. To write the uppercase A, start at the top and go down. Then go back to the top and go down on the other side. Finally, go to the middle and draw a straight line across. That's the way to write the uppercase A. Let's write it again. Start at the top, 
go down then go back to the top and go down again on the other side finally go to the middle and draw a straight line across that's the way to write the uppercase a to write the lowercase a start in the middle and go around in a circle then we draw a straight line down let's do that again start in the middle and go around in a circle then we draw a straight line down that's the way to write the lowercase a that's how we write uppercase and lowercase a make sure to keep practicing writing the letters the more you practice the better you will get at writing the letter a okay boys and girls let's recap today we talked about letter a we learned that a says a ah, as in ant axe and alligator a also says a ah, in the middle of words like cat cup and hat we had fun clapping words and learning how many syllables they have finally we had fun learning to write the uppercase and the lowercase a boys and girls it's now time for us to do some work based on what we've learned take out your year one literacy worksheet provided by the ministry of education and complete week two day one activity have fun completing the activity see you next time hello boys and girls of year one my name is teacher marisa and i'm excited that you can join me today for our math lesson let's begin our lesson today by counting with teacher monique one, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger did it bite? This, this little, little finger, finger on my right. Now that we have counted, let us recap what we did last week. Are you ready? Let's go. Point to the picture card that has one object or thing. Excellent work, boys and girls. Last week, we also learned how to make the numeral one. Can you remember how to make the numeral one? That's right. Numeral one is like a stick, a straight line down that's very quick. Let's say that one more time. Numeral one is like a stick, a straight line down that's very quick. Boys and girls, you are doing really well remembering what we did last week. Great job. Is there anything else we did last week? Hmm, yes. We also learned how to spell the number name one. Listen as I spell one, O-N-E, one. Listen again, O-N-E, one. Let's spell together this time, O-N-E, one. I can't hear you, O-N-E, one. Now, try spelling it on your own. I'm listening. Give yourselves a clap. You did an awesome job remembering, identifying, and spelling the numeral name one. Let's get into today's lesson. How many candles are on this cake? That's right, there are two candles 
on the cake. What about these sweets? Let's count them. One, two, two sweets. And these balloons, one, two balloons. Now you show me two fingers. Count them. One, two, two fingers. So today we will learn about two. Boys and girls, you can count these party bags now. Let us check to make sure everyone counted correctly. One, two party bags. Now let's count two ice cream cones. When we get to two, we have to stop because we're only counting two ice cream cones. One, two ice cream cones. Great job. Now that you can count to two, go count two objects in your environment. Two pencils, two crayons, two leaves, two stones, anything you can find, but you must have two. Go, count your objects. I'm waiting. Are you done? Good job, boys and girls. I am sure you were able to count two objects. Now that we have counted up to two and counted two objects, it's now time for us to learn to form the numeral two. Listen to this song that will help you to remember the formation of numeral two. Half around and then across Half around and then across, half around and then across. That's the way to form numeral two. Let's sing the song once again. Half around and then across, half around and then across, half around and then across. That's the way to form numeral two. One more time, boys and girls. Half around and then across. Half around and then across. Half around and then across. That's the way to form numeral two. It's time for us to practice writing the numeral two. And remember, boys and girls, you can sing the song as you write the numeral two. Are you ready? Look closely at the formation. Look again. Look one last time. Now you try it on your own. Great job, boys and girls. Keep practicing. Let's look at this word. It says two. Let's say the letters T-W-O. One more time. T-W-O. Now you say the letters on your own. Boys and girls, you did very well saying those letters. Today we counted two objects. We learned to write the numeral two. Half around, then go across. Half around, then go across half around, then go across to form the numeral two. We also learned to spell the numeral name two. T-W-O-2. I hope
hope you had fun learning about the numeral two. Go get your crayons and your workbooks provided by the Ministry of Education and let's complete the activity for week two, day one. Boys and girls, take your time and do your best work. Have fun. Bye-bye. See you next time. Good morning, everybody. And how are you? How are you? How are you? Good morning, everybody. And how are you? Welcome to Learning Adventures. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome back to another episode of Nursery Learning Adventures. I am Teacher Alicia, and this is your year two literacy class. As always, I am very excited to see you all, and we will have so much fun learning today. Let's recap some of the words we did last week. We did ta, and we made the word tag. We did te, and we did the word ten. We did te, and we made the word tim, which is a boy's name. We did ta, and we made the word top, and we made ta, and we made the word tub. In this new week, we will be looking at the very special vowel A. But first, we will talk about birthdays. As you know, we all have birthdays. Every boy and every girl has a day in the year they were born. Just like you have a birthday, your friend also has a birthday. We know that birthdays are very special. It is a special time for you, and it is a special time for your friend. Some of you might even share the same birthday with your friends, or the same birth month. I know that there was some time or another where you went to a friend's birthday party. Birthday parties are so much fun. You play games, and you sing the happy birthday song and there's always a cake. It's always good to have a slice of yummy cake. And also, there are party bags that you get to take home with all of the goodies inside. Have you ever been to a friend's birthday party? And did you have fun? I am sure you did. Now, we will learn about the short vowel sound that the letter a mix. So listen carefully. We know that vowels are letters that make two sounds. They make a long sound and they make a short sound. Today we will be focusing on the short sound that the vowel A makes. Listen carefully as I make the short sound for the vowel A. Ah. 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 A says ah. There are so many words that begin with the short vowel sound A. We say most of these words every day. Can you think of any? Hmm, let's think of some together. There is ah, ah, ant. There is also ah, ah, antelope. How about ah, ah, anteater? And there is ah, ah, apples. Let's try another one. There is ah, ah, avocados. And another one, ah, ah, alligator. These are all words that begin with the short vowel sound ah. Now, do you know that there are some names that begin with the short vowel sound a? Ah? Can you think of any? Let's list some of these names that begins with the short vowel sound a. Ah. These names are a, ah, a, ah, Annabelle, a, ah, a, ah, Alex, Ah, ah, Anna, and ah, ah, Arik. Does your name begin with the short vowel sound ah? 
Can you sound out your name just to check? Oh, I know. My name begins with the short vowel sound ah. Let's say my name together and listen carefully for the ah sound. Let's say it. Ah, ah, Alicia. Let's say that again. Ah, ah, Alicia. See, my name begins with the short vowel sound ah. Now, boys and girls, I will read a story and you will listen carefully for the short vowel sound ah. The name of the story is Andy the Ant. Andy the Ant had a birthday party. He invited his friends Alex the Alligator, Alice the Antelope, and Anna the Anteater. Alex and his friends ate apples, avocado, and almond nuts. After they ate, Alex's friends went away. Did you hear the ass sound in that story? Very well. Now, read some of these sentences with me and listen carefully for the ah sound. There is an ah ah apple on the table. There is an ah ah ant on the apple. Anna says ah ah ah. There is an ah ah ant on the apple. Boys and girls, there are so many more words that begin with the ah sound. You can try to find some and learn them. Now let's recap what we have learned today. We learned that just like you, your friend also has a birthday. And birthdays are very special. Just like your birthday is special to you, your friend's birthday is also special. We also learned about the short vowel sound that the vowel A makes. The sound is a, 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 as in apple. Thank you boys and girls for listening to this lesson. I hope you had fun with me. Now it's time for you to take out your worksheet provided by the Ministry of Education. Week two, day one. Make sure to do your very best work. Bye until I see you next time. Welcome boys and girls to your year two math class. I'm teacher Kelly and I'll be your math teacher for this week. Let's take a few minutes to prepare for our lesson by counting from one to 20 with teacher Monique. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Great job, boys and girls. Great job counting, boys and girls. Now, let's recap what we did last week. Do you remember what we did last week? Last week, we learned about height and we tried to find out which person or thing was tall, taller, and tallest. Let's see if you remember how to identify tall, taller, and tallest. Can you see the three best friends standing together? You can. Great. Point to the tall friend. Boys and girls, if you pointed to this one, you are correct. He is the tall friend. Now, can you point to the friend that is taller? If you pointed to this one, you are correct. He is the taller friend. 
Now, boys and girls, can you point to the tallest friend in the picture? If you pointed to this one, you are correct. She is the tallest friend in the picture. Tall, taller, tallest. Great job identifying which friend is tall, taller, and tallest. Now let's try to figure out what is our math topic by playing the game where is the numeral? There are some numerals on the screen. However, some numerals are missing. Can you help me find the missing numerals? Ready? Let's count. One. Hmm. What comes after numeral one? That's right, two. Let's count again. One, two, three. Oh my, another numeral is missing. What comes after numeral three? If you said four, that's correct. Let's count again. One, two, three, four, Five. What comes after numeral five? Yes, boys and girls, six comes after five. Let's count all the numerals on the screen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Great job counting the numerals. Hmm, can you guess what numerals we'll be looking at this week? This week, we will be looking at two numerals. Numeral six and numeral seven. Let's look at numeral six. First, let's count from one to six. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Let's count again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Maybe we can try counting backwards from six to one. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's try that again. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. There are some cupcakes on the screen. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six cupcakes. Let's count them again. One, two, three, four, five, Six. There are six cupcakes. Boys and girls, did you count the six cupcakes? Great job counting! Now that we've counted from one to six and have counted six objects, it's now time for us to learn the formation of the numeral six. This is the numeral six. To write the numeral six, we go down and make a loop. Let's do that again. Down we go and make a loop. That's the way to make numeral six. One more time. Down we go and make a loop. That's the way to write numeral six. It's time for us to practice writing the numeral six. And remember, boys and girls, you can say the rhyme as you write numeral six. Down we go and make a loop. That's the way to write numeral six. Great job. Keep practicing writing numeral six. Let's look at the word six. 
Can you see the word on the screen? Let's say the letters. S I X six. One more time. S I X six. Now, boys and girls, you say the letters on your own. Great job saying those letters in the word six. Now let us look at numeral seven. Seven comes after six. First, let's count from one to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm, maybe we can try counting backwards from seven to one. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's say that again. Seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Now there are some friends on the screen. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven friends. Let's count again. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven. There are seven friends. Boys and girls, did you count the seven friends? Try counting the seven friends by yourself. Great job counting! Now that we have counted from one to seven and counted seven objects, it's now time for us to learn the formation of the numeral seven. This is the numeral seven. To write numeral seven, we go across the sky and down from heaven to make the numeral seven. Let's do that again. Across the sky and down from heaven to make the numeral seven. One more time. Across the sky and down from heaven to make the numeral seven. It's time for us to practice writing the numeral seven. And remember, boys and girls, you can say the rhyme as you write numeral seven. Across the sky and down from heaven to make the numeral seven. Great job! Keep practicing writing the numeral seven. Let's look at the word seven. Can you see the word on the screen? Let us say the letters. S E C E N seven. One more time. S E V E N seven. Now, boys and girls, you say the letters on your own. Great job saying those letters in the word seven. All right, boys and girls, let's go over what we did today. We counted six and seven objects. Let's count from one to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we also counted seven objects. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
we learn to write the numeral six. Down we go and make a loop. That's the way to make six. We call the letters in the numeral name six. S I X six. We also learn to write seven. To write numeral seven, we go across the sky and down from heaven to make the numeral seven. We call the letters in the numeral name seven. S E V E N seven. Okay, boys and girls, now that you have learned so much about numeral six and seven, it's time for us to do some activities based on what was learned. So take out your year two numeracy worksheets provided by the Ministry of Education and complete the activity for week two, day one. Ensure that you write your name on the lines and have fun doing those activities. Do your best. Goodbye. See you next time. Thank you.